Hey guys, welcome back. It's your favorite Gimple Limp, and I'm here with the next part. I believe this is part six of Storms of Steel. Sorry, it's been a little while since I've been able to get another episode of this one up. I've just had so much going on, but I do have a little bit of time, so we're going to jump into it. We had left off with a rally I had down here, so it's time for the Germans to try to act again. Hopefully nothing bad. Uh, reshuffle the deck after action. Okay, I'll do that in just a second. And... Let's see. I'm going to go actually with this execute counteractions because remember, we are using the counteractions and mission orders and stuff like that as basically defensive orders in this mission for these guys. So rearranging their movement or positioning, try to get them in, in better places is the, the general purpose of those orders. And I know we've been moving this dummy around over here. Because actually Uva had made that uh, comment and I agreed with him that he would do good coming around over here. So we're going to pop him right. I don't think he'll have a line. Well, he might have a little bit of a line of fire if we put him there. And I guess it really doesn't matter which direction we have him facing in. All these buildings are blocking him off except for that. So at least he gives him a chance, possibly. So we'll put a little stress marker right there. On him, his goal is to get over here. That way they'll still have a line of, of defense. I'm trying to swarm it on this side, but ugh, I was only able to take out one guy. I really need to take out this one. I can swarm in through the woods and pour into the, the village and kind of flank them, but I have nothing left over here. All right, so let's draw. Is he spent? He spent. Oh, this is good. This is good. All right, give me a sec. Let me reshuffle the deck. Okay, so we're good. And by the way, I did remove a blue card for one of theirs that was taken out. That, for me, it's one of those rules I just cannot keep in my head that you're supposed to do it. I don't know. It's it's the way it is. Uh, every game, for some reason, will have some little rule that I just cannot remember for, for the life of me, for whatever it is. Lock and load tactical, it's, it's the spotting mechanic. Even though so many games have spotting and I just, I can't keep that one for some reason in my head. Here it's pulling out that card. I don't know. It uh, it just depends. You guys put it down in the comments. Let me know if you ever have that uh, happen in your games that you'll have just one little tiny rule that you can't just keep in your head. Speaking of which, you guys check out um, the Whiskey Charlie, which is our war game chats. We're calling it Whiskey Charlie. Uh, me and Mo and Dan are the, the main ones doing it, and then we're having a bunch of people jump on. Uh, Mo's a good idea, basically to kind of help expand the, the wargaming community a little bit, let people see, you know, some smaller channels of people who are up and coming and uh, just talk about wargaming stuff. You know, fun little podcast. You guys check it out. I'll, uh, as always, I put them up in my uh, playlist. Mo has them. Uh, it's, I think it's live linked on his page, so definitely check him out if you haven't Mo's Game Table. And the Dan that I'm talking about is Dan from No Enemies here. All right, so it is my turn again. What are we going to do? I've got one dummy left over here. But, ooh, I forgot to flip this little guy. Let's flip him as I shake that thing all around. Okay, so he's spent. That's great. I can take a shot with him, but... This guy would have heavy defense from the woods, which put him up to 14. 14 against my three is not good at all. That's, I need 11 just to hit. I don't think these guys are even in range yet. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're one hex too far away. I can attempt to fire with yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm going to attempt to fire with my sniper again, hopefully trying to pin down one of these machine guns because there's a machine gun here, machine gun here. These guys are not going to move, especially this one. He's in heavy building. He's got good fields of fire. He can hit everything I've got on the board. I mean, he's he's just straight set where he's at. He's either going to die or kill off my guys. This one, though, he's got the heaviest firepower, and he's only in a wooden building, not a heavy building so he's only getting the one and with a sniper being able to fire at their flank defense that drops him down to a 10 or that drops him uh, rather down to an eight because i fired his flank defense and then he's getting one up from that so that brings him down to a nine okay so oh i've got one cap left i'm trying to decide should I spend that cap on this attack to bring it down to an eight 
in the hopes that I actually can put some hurt on this guy. Because if I could, that leaves them only with two to potentially attack me with. I mean, and it, there's really not that big of a difference. The machine gun over here can fire in a farther range, but both of these guys have most of my units in their line of fire, so the firepower isn't that much different. Ah. You know what? No guts, no glory. Let's, let's go for it. That cap's just burning a hole in my pocket. We're going to spend it because otherwise I can end up losing it. And whatever. At least this way, I know once my units are spent, I'm, I'm done. It'll just be up to them. We're going to take the shot. Sniper all the way up to here. Our hit number is going to be an eight thanks to the cap negating his defense effectively. All right, come on. Big money, big money. If I get terrain tracks here, it will kill him in one go, which would be great. Come on. Die. Oh my god, I saw, I, I could swear I saw this coming up when I saw the uh, the first one. I was like, please land on it. And then it hit the one number out of five on this damn die that it would be required to hit to make me miss. Yeah, what a waste. No. Oh, this is payback for that last game when I did really well. Okay. Spent. Oh yeah, he spent. He spent hard. He's way spent. Okay, I lost my sniper support down here. That's not good. All right, I grabbed up some of my gravity dice, my lucky gravity dice. That's gonna be mine. <laughs> I'm gonna roll those for for my guys. We'll keep these bad dice for the uh, for the Germans for them to use. Oh, I really love these gravity dice. By the way, if you guys haven't seen them, you can order a similar set from lock and load they've got three red and three blue in there a little magnetic metal case to keep them in real nice set okay so let's draw a card see what the ai is going to do uh, nothing at priority range highest attack rating ai closest to a unit that just acted attack plus white cap well that's some shit he's going to get payback onto my sniper now so he is going to fire onto my sniper, and he's getting a plus one. That's not good. Okay, so plus one on him. He's got an attack power of five. Brings him up to a six. I'm only in a wooden building, so I'm getting the one bonus. Brings me up to a 14. So the six on the 14 brings the hit number down to an eight. So he needs an eight or better. He actually needs the exact same thing I did. And watch, watch. This will be train tracks this time. Guarantee him to you. All right. No, hit me. Oh, there it is. Of course he hit me. He hit me, but I didn't hit him. All right, let's see if he spends real quick and then I'll draw a counter. He does not spend. Of course he doesn't. All right. Let's shuffle up. All right. Get, look, get these looking away. Get these looking away. And let's drag one from the deep. It is pinned. Okay. That's not bad. Pin doesn't really have a whole lot of negative involved with it. It just removes the ability to move. So that is not horrible. All right, so he was my last guy to act. I've put the stress marker back on him. I've got one over here, two over here. Thinking I'll do a group move with these guys, get them up so that hopefully they're in range, be able to do something, maybe do a group attack. Hopefully might cause some uh, damage there. So let's do up as a group move and roll to see if they spend. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Whew, that was a little close. I was a little worried there for a second. All right, throw that on them. They are now stressed, which means I'll act with him on the next go round and then hopefully they'll still be kicking and I can take an attack with them and try to do a group attack, because that would be a firepower five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, firepower five if I group attack with them against him. So it'd be a hit number of eight. So yeah, 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 I could do that. All right, let's see what the card draws. And not moving it. Execute counteractions. Can't. And there's really nothing else defensive. The only defensive maneuver they have left is moving this guy down so that's not going to happen unhit ai closest to a fresh unit that just acted attack okay 
So he is going to attack. Both of these guys acted. So again, we'll do one to three, four to six. See which one he's going to attack. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. You gotta be kidding me. They are crushing me with this. I was like, please attack the one on the right, but no, he's gotta attack the one on the left. All right, he's not getting a bonus from it though. So it is five against 12, hit number oh, seven, of course. Urgh. Come on, I need it to roll low this time. Really need that one to roll. Oh, by one. This white guy keeps coming up one. That worked for me. Let's see if he spent. Spent, 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 spent. No, not spent. But he is stressed. And oh, he should have been stressed on the last one, actually, because he acted previously. But it doesn't matter that he still wouldn't have spent from that because his... Attack cost is a two. That would have bumped him up to a three anyway. So move point didn't change anything. Now it's to me. All right. What I'm thinking is I might try to drive this one guy around and see if I can get around, maybe flank behind this guy. I would just run in, but he'd be in the line of fire the whole way. I would like to get in the woods so I've got some cover, but... Plus, if I get him up along the guys, you know, keep him up against my guys here, and he does spend, then at least he'll still be able to group move, group fire, whatever, because he'll still be adjacent to him. So, yeah, we're going to cut this way. I'm going to hard flank this to try to go around. Again, don't, uh, don't count me as, like, the best strategy guy. I'm just doing what looks like it might work at the time. So, that's his move. Let's see if he spends anything but a one. Three is good. I will take the three. Mark him as stressed. And let's go for the next card. I got another reshuffle after action. Okay. We will do that in a second. There is nobody priority. No. Uh, yeah, no mortar and infantry gun, I think. I think that infantry gun is like a anti-tank gun. I'm not sure if that's a machine gun. You guys let me know if I'm wrong on that. Uh, AI farthest from the lowest defense value unit attack. And they're not going to move towards but that first one. AI farthest from the lowest uh, defense value. All right, let me take a look. All right, so the farthest one I can get away that actually has a line of sight would be this dummy here firing over on that guy because over here it's like six hexes away this one's obviously closer this guy's obviously closer so this one a farthest away is over there or wait this so that's nine hexes one two three four five six seven eight eight hexes so nine hexes here one two three four five six seven eight oh no it's eight either way one two three four five six seven eight yep okay so again one to three Four to six to see who he will be conducting his attack on. Whoop, I only need one die for this. Hopefully it will not be the one to three because I don't want to lose a sniper. Ooh, okay. So he will conduct his attack on my fresh unit. Five against the 12. Hit number seven. All right, we just don't need a seven. And that's an 11. Oh. <gasps> No, that's an 11. That's an auto kill. That's an auto kill, son of a monkey's butt. <sighs> yes, it is an auto kill. Oh no, that's so bad. Okay, that's so bad. That is very much bad. All right, move their victory point back up. And that is the first one I've lost on the right flank and that is crucial. Oh, so horrible. All right, so we got to draw a card, see if he spends. Hopefully he will spend. Of course he doesn't, but he was so close. I needed that to be one lower, and that would have spent him. God, him not spending is just crushing me. This is what I'm talking about. I've mentioned it, I think, in almost every video. The Germans having the lower point cost to conduct their attacks is just brutal because with mine, most of them only get one attack, at best two uh, each round and the Germans, I mean, uh, action point cost of two, more than likely it's in their favor. This guy's made what three, four attacks each round. 
And even when he's stressed, he's blocking out and not spending. God, it's just crushing me. Okay, so I've got, 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 got to, to take this guy out. So we're hoping for the best here. We're going to use our, our special gravity dice. We're going to have him be the primary, him be the, the bonus, the assist, which gives him the plus one. So that's five against his defense value of 12, which bumps to 13 because of the buildings then. So that gives me a to hit number of eight. If I can train track this, I can kill him. It probably won't happen, but it would be really nice if it did, considering they just waxed one of my guys right off the board. Come on, come on, blow on him or something. Yeah, we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsor. What the hell? Oh, that was horrible. Okay, let's see if they spend. They'll probably spend too. No, they didn't spend. That's great. That is very much lucky for me that they did not spend. But, oh, I am getting crushed. I can make that attack again, though. They're the only two I've got left that I can actually do anything with. Yep. I, I've, I've got one round left. Unless I wanted to attack with him separately. Because if I attack with him separately, he'd only hit on a 9. He'd only hit on a 10. I get okay, so math majors here. What would be better? One attack where you're hitting on an eight or better, or two attacks where you're hitting on nine and then ten. Alright, so let's draw a card. Let's see what the AI is going to do this round. They are we're not moving that forward. They can't do defensive actions. I mean they could, but the guy that needs to do the defensive actions, he's Still spent, so unhit AI closest to a fresh unit that just acted son of a monkey's butt. Oh, he is crushing me because he just keeps attacking the, the same groups. I've gotten lucky a couple times, but I don't think I'm going to keep getting lucky. Um, again, one to three, four to six. Let's see. Ooh, not that white die. Nope. That white die rolls one a lot. All right, let's see what we get here. Come on, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> <laughs> at this point you just can't help but laugh sometimes the dice guys just decide that you're gonna lose and <laughs> you're gonna lose <laughs> all right so he's gonna conduct the attack here he isn't getting any bonus though so it's gonna be the same that it was uh previous 30 billion times he shot at my guys uh seven or better for the hit which you really want to get to seven because on a 2d6 that seven really will hit hard or hit often Oh, but it missed this time. Okay, can we get lucky? Can this dipshit spend? Yes, finally, he spent. Oh, that is beautiful. Finally got him spent. Because otherwise, he was just going to keep crushing me. All right, so since they survived, it still comes down to it. I still have one more chance at this. It's still the best shot for me to take because this guy has a bonus defensive two because of the harder structure he's in. And, ooh, I think I got a straight shot there at him with no defense. Oh, never mind. I'd be firing at long range, so I'd get the long range, uh, long range penalty. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, one hex, two, four, firing at long range. But, let me check. Remind me again real quick, what's a long range penalty? You know, the long range penalty is two attack rating, so I'd only be firing at two. I'd need a, to hit number of 10, which is the same that I'd have against him. Yeah. I'd have a hit number of 10 at each, each one of them. <sighs> I'm trying to decide here whether it would be better to take that single attack with a hit number of nine and then a to hit number of 10 or just to do them both and hope for the best. And the thing of it is, is after that, I, I just have to hope that the AI spends their last two guys at some point because I am completely out of caps again and these are my last two. So I've either got one okay attack or two crappy attacks left. But if I take the one okay attack, there's a chance that they could hurt one of my guys anyway uh, we'll take the better attack. There's just too big of a chance that they'll get me. So, 
Group attack again. Now they're both stressed, so this is an action point cost of five. Very likely that they will spend because there's only, I think, one six and one seven uh, on this 10 sided die, so 20% chance that I don't spend after this attack. We're going to take it at him, and it's going to be to hit number of eight. All right, come on. I really, really is to hit number of eight. Yeah, because he's getting the plus one. Plus one, yeah, my five. Yeah, because 13 minus five equals eight. Dirt. <laughs> you can tell I'm a little tired. Kids have been wearing me out. All right, come on. Big money, big money. Just hold up. I'm actually going to blow on him. All right, I blew on him for luck. Train tracks, baby. That, that's not train tracks. <laughs> These dice are rolling worse than the others. Oh, and look, as I drop them, they go to something that hits. Damn, just, oh, that's bad. That hurt. All right, give me a six or a seven here. Six or seven, six or seven. Oh, I hate the one on this die, because this one, it teases you sometimes. You'll think that you got it and then realize real quick that you absolutely did not get it. That's all right. At the start of this match when I got spotted so early, I really didn't think I was going to last as long as I have. All right, so we're back to them. They have two guys left who are not activated. And hit AI closest. Nope. They haven't been hit because I can't hit a thing. Uh, Clois, uh, oh, closest, closest to a lowest def uh, defense value fresh unit. I do not have any fresh units. AI closest to a unit. Uh, AI closest to a unit closest to the mission objective. There is no mission objective. All rumored enemy. There are no rumored enemy. So let's just draw another card because there is actually nothing on here that they technically can do. So we're gonna draw the next card. And this is a command card. This one's gonna hurt. And execute counteraction since this is a command order, this will allow him to move without needing that spent check. So gets him out of that zero defense modifier hex. Now he's lined up, ready to go at my guys. He is in a good position now. Oh, damn, they're just, they're getting good. All right, I will draw another card for him here and we'll probably cut the video at this point. And then uh, I might just play the last couple of guys off camera until they get spent. So you're not just sitting here watching me go card, 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 unless something major happens. All right, one more card here. Of course, it's a command card, so anyone can do it. Uh, no defensive actions needed now that he's moved up. Hit AI closest auto rally, none. Oh, well, it's a good thing I didn't cause a wound because that would have made me cry. AI closest to the lowest defense value unit group attack. Now here, here's the thing. They're all spread out, so they can't do a group attack. So, hmm. All right, I'm not gonna just keep drawing cards. We'll give them the group attack and just go and it'll just be a single attack, but they'll get the plus two caps. Closest to the lowest uh, defense value unit. Let's see, should be this guy. One, two, three, three hexes away. Yep, none of them have anything. None of them are anywhere near closer to that. So he will fire at him with a bonus of two. He's getting six now. Six on 12 is going to give him a hit number of six. Kill number of 10. Watch this thing be like an 11 or 12. All right, come on. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was good there for a second. That little rebound kicked him over there to the sixth. Damn. Ooh, that was close, though. One number higher would have been an auto kill. Okay, so let's shuffle up and deal here. Look away, Gippy. Look away. Look away. Look away. This one feels good. I want this one. And cowering. Oh, oh, look, I just looked in the bowl. <laughs> it was right next to it. Ooh, that was close. Okay, cowering. Cost more to attack, cost more to move. Oh, but it gives them a bonus to their defense, so that's actually good, but reduces their range down to one. Okay, that's that's pretty horrible. <laughs> All right, so this is, this is not looking good. This has not been a good round for me. Uh, 
most of my guys have spent or all my guys have spent now two are wounded and I lost another and they still have four. It's just such a defensive position. They have the, the best bonus open fields of fire coming down in. But I think this, the way I've played this out has been fairly thematic. You know how the, the Russians would just try to swarm them in and overwhelm them with bodies and you Germans just mauling them down as best they can before they can get into town. Uh, dice gods were just in the Germans' favor on this one. All right, uh, like I said, I might go ahead and play these last few guys off camera just because uh, it'll take a little while. I'm not sure how many cards I have to draw before they actually spend. Ooh, and it would help if I draw cards to see if Dummy here does spend. He was a three. Nothing else should have affected that. So, yes, does he spend? He does spend. This is good. All right. So that means they've only got one guy left. Of course, it's only got a value of two to make its attack. So we'll have to see how that ends up playing out. All right. You guys stay tuned for the next round. Y'all take care. I'll catch you in the next one.